Okay, next up we want to talk about the NodeMon module, which is something you can use in conjunction with your Node.js programs, especially if you're building things like web servers, that as you're changing them, you want to save the changes and restart the server. And if you're doing this frequently, it can be a bit of a pain to do that. As an example, here I've got a very basic web server, and we can run this, node basic server, and we run that. So, all right, it's running. But now I realize, oh yeah, I meant to edit this. There was something else that I had to put in the file. I save that, but this is still running the old cached copy. So I have to control C to kill the process and then start it up again. Now I've got the new version running. Well, that's all great, but it can be a bit tedious to have to do that again and again. So that's the problem that NodeMon is going to so uh, help solve for us. All right, first of all, we have to install NodeMon. So let's clear this out. We'll use npm to install NodeMon. And we're going to save it as a dev dependency. All right, so it takes a moment to download that, but then it's going to show up in our dev dependencies here. We'll see it show up inside this package. And there we go. There's NodeMon installed. Now, we can use this directly. We can use npx to download and run NodeMon run it from memory, then I could just type in nodemon and then the name of the script that I want it to run and watch. But instead of doing that, just the one off, I'm going to have it installed as part of my project and I'm going to add to my scripts here. So I'm going to create a script called watch, which is going to launch my program using nodemon. So we'll say nodemon and then the script that we want to actually run is going to be server dot or basic server dot js there we go and oh, need the comma at the end of that line okay so we've saved that now when i run this watch script it's going to be launching nodemon for me if there were other tasks that we wanted to do we could put them all inside of here as well so it'd be one script to start up the watch maybe we we're going to compile some sas as well but nodemon is the starting point so inside of here, if I do npm run, and then the script watch is the one that I want, there we go. And it says it started up basic server.js, and there it is, it's running. Now, another thing that we can do with NodeMon, because in here we've defined main, that is going to be the default file that this is going to try to run. So if we change this, and we just put NodeMon inside of there, I save it. Now, it was watching and waiting for changes to JSON files. When I changed the watch script, it automatically restarted itself. So there we go again. It started up the same file because that's what we had defined inside of main right here. All right, now configuration settings. There are settings that you can set for NodeMon itself. First one is, if you want, you can create a file called nodemon.json and inside of here, create some settings, things like setting up a delay. If you want to wait for, let's say, two seconds after saving. So, all right, I've saved that. Now, it understands that there's a two second delay from when I last save to when it restarts. If I come back here, and I make a change and I save it. Oh, I guess it's using the old uh, setting from the config. Here, let's close that and we'll run it again. There we go. Now it should be using that two second delay. So I save one, two, and there it is. So it restarted after the two seconds. Okay. So one way of doing it is inside of here. The other way of doing this. So if I cut that out of there, save that. We don't have to have this file, this nodemon.json file. I can delete that entirely. No need for that. Inside of here, we can create a section called nodemon config. And that's where we put our settings, like the delay. And we can also tell it which files we don't want it to look at. So my ignore, I'm going to create an array of files that I don't want it to watch, or folders. So let's say there's a docs folder 
and I don't want anything in that to be watched. I have a distribution folder and I don't want it to watch for changes inside of there. I don't want it to watch for changes inside of, um, uh, we'll say JS, just for, or CSS we'll say. So star slash star dot CSS. There we go. So inside any folder, any file that starts with uh, or that ends with .css, that is now going to be something which is ignored. So if I had a CSS file and I made a change to it, it wouldn't cause a restart on the server. So we've got all these changes now embedded in our package.json, the dev dependencies in there, the main is defining which file to run, and we have our script, which is running nodemon. Or, you know, if you want to pronounce it no daemon, you can do that. If you want to pronounce it Notamon, like Pokemon, you can do that. If you look at the actual documentation for the site, um, the guy who created it has no preference whatsoever. You can call it whatever you like. Nodemon is my choice, but feel free to call it what you like. All right, and that's everything. That's how you use Nodemon with your uh, Node web servers or other Node programs that you're building. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.